Are you able to find the missing number in this difficult maths puzzle? The numbers in these puzzles are 1, 2 and 2 in the first row, 3, 4 and 18 on the second row, 5, 6 and 50 on the third row, and in the final row we have 7, 8 and the missing number represented by the question mark. In fact, this puzzle has two solutions. If you can give me one, I'll be very happy. So if you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to find the solution, keep watching. Welcome back. This is the solution to the difficult maths puzzle. The number on the first row is 1, 2 and 2. Second row, we have 3, 4 and 18. In the third row, we have 5, 6 and 50. And in the final row, we have 7, 8 and the missing number represented by the question mark. So we are going to find the missing number represented by the question mark. As I said before, there are two solutions to this puzzle and I'm going to give you both now. If you look at the column, it's very simple. 1 and 7 is equal to 3 plus 5. So 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 is equal to 4 plus 6. So 2 plus the question mark is equal to 18 plus 50. 18 plus 50 is 68. So the question mark has to be 66. The first answer is going to be 66. If you get it right, well done. Now comes the difficult part. We are going to find the solution when we comparing the row. So 1, 2 equal to 2, 3, 4 equal to 18, 5, 6 equal to 50, 7, 8 equal to question mark. So to do that, we need to square the number. So 1 square is going to be 1, 2 square is going to be 4, and now how do we get 2? Is that 1 squared, so the first one we're going to put, I put it here, so it's going to be 1 squared plus 4 squared minus 4 squared minus 1 squared. So 1 squared plus 4 squared, so no, 1 squared plus 2 squared, sorry, 1 squared plus 2 squared, okay? So 1 squared plus 2 squared is going to be 5 minus 2 squared minus 1 squared is going to be 3, because 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 1 is going to be 3, and the answer is going to be 2. That's how you get 2. Similarly, for the second row, 3 squared is going to be 9, 4 squared is going to be 16, so what we do is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared minus 4 squared minus 3 squared. So 3 squared plus 4 squared will give us 25. 4 squared minus 3 squared, 16 minus 9 will give us 7. And then that is how you get 18 for the second number. Now we're going to the third row. So we're going to be 5 squared which is 25. 6 squared is 35. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 6 squared minus 5 squared. So 5 squared is going to be 25. 25 plus 36 is going to give us 61. And then 6 squared, which is 36 minus 5 squared, which is 25, that is going to be 11. So 61 minus 11 is going to be 50. And last but not least, we're going to find 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 8 squared minus 7 squared. So 7 squared is going to be 49, 8 squared is 64. So 49 plus 64 is going to be 113. And 8 squared, 64 minus 49, 8 squared minus 7 squared, 64 minus 19 is going to be 15. And you put your calculator, the answer is going to be 98. So the answer for this puzzle is either 66 or 98. I'm sure some of you got it right because you guys are geniuses and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone and have a good day.